This is lesson 1.3, Distance and Midpoints. Your objectives are to find the distance between two points and to find the midpoint of a segment. To find distance on a number line, you take the values of the two points and subtract them and then take the absolute value. Always subtract for distance. And on the coordinate plane, you use this formula. Notice again the subtraction, the squares, and everything is under the square root. Use the number line to find each measure. Segment BD. Well, B is between negative 8 and negative 6, so it's at negative 7. D is at negative 1, so we will subtract and take the absolute value. Negative 7 minus negative 1 is negative 6, and the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. Number 3, the measure of segment AF. A is at negative 9, F is at 3. Do the absolute value, 3 minus negative 9, that's the absolute value of 12, which is 12. The distance does not matter the order that you're subtracting. You could do 3 minus negative 9 or negative 9 minus 3. You will still get 12 after you take the absolute value. Find the distance between each pair of points. For the points 0, 0 and 6, 8, Feel free to label the first point x1, y1, and the second one x2, y2, and we'll substitute the numbers in where they go. x2 minus x1, and y2 minus y1. 6 minus 0 is 6, squared is 36. 8 minus 0 is 8, squared is 64. That's the square root of 100 which is 10. For number 10, negative 2, 3 is your x1, y1. 3, 15 is your x2, y2. So we will substitute the values in where they go. x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1. 3 minus negative 2 is 5, squared is 25. 15 minus 3 is 12, squared is 144. That's the square root of 169, which is 13. Substitute your numbers in and work it out. Midpoint of a segment. The midpoint on a number line, you take the coordinates add them together, and divide by 2. On the coordinate plane, the midpoint is found by adding the x's and dividing by 2, and adding the y's and dividing by 2. Your answer for each of these is a point. It is the midpoint, the point in the middle of the segment. Use the number line to find the coordinate of the midpoint of each segment. For segment CE, we're going to use negative 4 and 2. Add the numbers and divide by 2. That's negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. Number 2, the midpoint of segment DG. D uses 0, G uses 8. The midpoint is found by adding those numbers and dividing by 2. That's an 8 over 2, which is 4. 4 is the midpoint. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of a segment with the given endpoints. On the coordinate plane, we use the midpoint formula, so substitute your values in. 0, 0 is x1, y1. 
12 8 is x2 y2 so it will be 0 plus 12 over 2 to add the x's and divide by 2 and then y1 plus y2 over 2 0 plus 12 is 12 divided by 2 is 6 0 plus 8 is 8 divided by 2 is 4 the midpoint is 6 comma 4 it is written like a point in parentheses like an ordered pair for number 10 negative 12 8 is x1 y1 6 12 is x2 y2 put the numbers in the midpoint formula x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2 negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 8 plus 12 is 20 divided by 2 is 10 negative 310 is the midpoint let's look at three more questions up until now we were given the two endpoints find the midpoint now we're given one endpoint and the midpoint find the other endpoint if you know one endpoint and the midpoint it's very easy to do and you don't even need the midpoint formula look at the x values from 2 to 5 you added 3 the midpoint is the exact middle of this segment which means you have to add another 3 to get to the next x value making it 8 look at the y's from 0 to 2 you're adding 2 well add 2 more to get 4 so 8 4 is your other endpoint find the distance apart from the X's and the Y's and go that same distance again to the other endpoint on this question N is one endpoint P is the midpoint how do you find the other endpoint well look at the X's from 5 to 6 you're adding 1 P is in the middle which means it's the same distance on the other side add 1 again and you get 7 for the Y's from 4 to 3 you're subtracting 1 well subtract 1 again to get 2 so 7 2 is the other endpoint for the last one P is the midpoint N and Q are the endpoints look at the X values from 3 to negative 1 you're subtracting 4 subtract 4 more and you get negative 5 look at Y from 9 to 5 you're subtracting 4 subtract 4 more to get 1 negative 5 1 is the other endpoint just remember for all of these use the correct formula make sure you know whether you're on the number line or in the coordinate plane using the proper distance or midpoint formula remember that in the distance formula you subtract in the midpoint you add and when you have a problem like these last three it's easiest if you find the distance from one end to the middle and go that same distance from the middle to the other end.